action. So hi, I'm Lucas from Kemet, and today I, I am making a new yarn with my mom. It's me, Lucas from Kemet, and I love Pokemon, so yeah. All right, and who am I? What's my name? Rebecca Brown. Yes, I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and I'm here with my six-year-old Lucas to dye some yarn. So why don't you show them the vision for today? Okay, the vision for today is this. This is our vision. Oh, can you just tell me about it? So we're going to have lots of orange with red here and yellow here and some pink over there and blue here. Mm-hmm. And, and, yeah, and some yellow next to the blue? Yeah. And what's the other thing you wanted to tell us that was really important about this picture? That I made it so that way we know what to do on each page, on each part. And it's the same on, on back and front. Okay. okay, so even though you didn't color on the back, you want the color to make sure it's on the front and the back of the yarn. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get to it. All right. So to dye yarn, what's the first thing that we need to do? Get yarn! Okay, I have the yarn. What do we do with it? Dye it by adding colors. But the main rule for this yarn is we're using the dabbers. Well, I don't think we can use the dabbers because I only have one set of dabbers and we have more than one color we want to do. Oh, so. So we're going to do a different technique. But to add the color to the yarn, is there something that we have to do the yarn before we can add color to it. Water it! We need to water it, so we need to pre-soak the yarn, which and, I've already and, done. And we're not using this. No, that's just a template, right? So we know what we're doing. Uh, mommy, what? Do I take a break to hang this up on the table so now? Uh, yeah. Be right back. Here is our yarn today. Well, before the yarn, let me tell the viewers what we're going to use. Okay. Today we're going to use this 4 inch deep hotel steamer pan. This pan is a dedicated dye pan, so it is not something we use for food. But we will be using food coloring as our dye source today. And action! So, what are you doing? So, what are I'm going to ask you a few questions. So, what are we using to dye the yarn? today. Great question, Lucas, and I did not prompt him on that at all. Today, we are going to be dyeing some 100% wool yarn with some food coloring. To use food coloring to dye yarn, you okay. want... I'll, I'll write food coloring on this. Fine, you can write, write food coloring on that. To dye yarn with food coloring, you want a protein-based yarn. Wool, alpaca, silk. Superwash wool is one of the best fiber types for getting the colors to strike fast. Although non-superwash wool and wool acrylic blends also work well. What's it called again? Food coloring. All right. This is a project that I would be comfortable doing in my cooking pots and pans. But since I have the equipment available, I'm gonna be using all non-food utensils and everything else for that project. If you would like to learn more about the yarn or any tools and equipment that we're using for this video, uh, you can find affiliate links in the video description. We're using food coloring today. Are you writing out a plan? Lucas, are you writing out a plan? Yes. What are you writing out? Main. This is our main material, ah. which is food coloring. Awesome. And don't forget, yarn. Y yarn. That's awesome, honey. And what grade are you in? Kindergarten. Awesome. And in this pan, I have just added eight cups of plain tap water. And now, Lucas, I need you to add some vinegar. Why don't you do three of these tablespoons? So one. Two. And do one more because that one was only a little half full. There you go. I like to use anywhere between two or more tablespoons of white vinegar. The more vinegar you add, the faster the colors will strike. 
Today we are going to use squeeze bottles to apply the color to the yarn, but you could use foam brushes or cups to pour. These are bottles that come with tulip tie-dye kits that I save and reuse, um, so that's a handy place to get some, but you can also find things like this at supermarkets and things like that for salad dressing. I believe these are four ounce bottles. In four of them, I filled them about half full with plain tap water. And Lucas, where's the yarn? The yarn skein. The yarn instructions? Yarn instruction. Okay. Check. I have filled four of the bottles about half full with water, and then one all the way full. And the one that's mostly full, we'll mix our orange, and then in the others, we'll do our yellow, pink, blue, and red. Now let's get the food coloring! All right! Orange! Yeah, this is the orange. I'm probably gonna get food coloring on my hands. That is okay. So since you are six years old, and I'm gonna do this part so we don't make a mess. I'm gonna put six drops, two, three, four, five, six, of the base orange in our bottle. This is the Wilton Colorite food coloring system. It is very, very potent. What color is that? This is the yellow. It's, I'm gonna do one drop of yellow. Since it is so potent, you don't need very much of it at all. So I'm gonna do the one drop of yellow. Well, I guess that's two drops of pink. Do you have any red colors? I do, I have red, and I'll get red in a moment, okay? One drop of blue, and then with the red, so it can actually look red, we're gonna do three drops of the base red. Now, I like the Color Right system because it comes with the primary colors, except for the red, all of these colors that I just added right now, each contain only one food coloring molecule. And the Color Right system has a really handy mixing guide as well. So now I am going to screw on the tops. Which it doesn't matter which one they go on. That is correct, it doesn't matter. Um, but this, it, one, this, it, place, this one has a lid on it. Yeah, but there, there could be some leaking. Um, if you have the little lids, that is good for mixing them. Otherwise, I am just gonna risk staining my hand, cover it up, and give it a good shape, shake. But you can see just, oh, no, Lucas, let, let Mama do this part, okay? Why? Well, because I don't want to get you all stained, but see how potent that blue is? Um, Whoa! Yeah, and that's a red. Leaking. There, just a little bit, and here's the orange. Why has it got some red in it? Well, the orange is really just made out of an orange color, but when you mix, and yeah, my hands are stained, when you mix primary colors together, what colors make orange? Red and yellow makes it happen. Great, okay. Let's I'll, take center stage. All right, now. Oh, where's the yarn? Hmm? Well, we're gonna do that in a minute. First, we do need to set up the pan and heat things up with the yarn, but Mama is also gonna do a little bit of cleaning up. And we'll be right back. And action! Awesome. All right, so I've pre-soaked 100 grams of Knit Picks Swish DK yarn. Initially, I thought we were gonna use Will of the Endies, but then I realized I did not have a skein of that pre-soaked like I thought, and we've got the Swish DK ready to go, so why not use this 100% Superwash Merino yarn instead? And so here is our nice circle. It's more oval than what you drew, but we can still try to accomplish those colors. Okay, I'll hang it over there and set Oh, sure. So that we, we, I can just look at it when... Cool. We have it on a, we have our little scheme on a knob right next to the stove. Yes. Now, kids, let, make sure you let grown-ups do this. We are going to turn on the heat for the stove, and we're going to let this heat up until we start to see some bubbles. Okay. And we'll be back when the stove top is ready to go. Do you have any questions? Well, I can wait here and make sure and see when there's bubbles. Okay, you can stand back. Um, you're on a step stool far back, and so you're safe, and so that's okay. Okay, and you're way over there. <laughs> you know what, how about I set a timer, and we'll come back and check, okay? Okay, and I'll keep watching it. <laughs> okay, just be careful. Can, let's roll up your sleeves. 
Oh. We're having a pajama day. That's why you don't get food coloring on them. All right, yeah. so oh. I'm gonna let you start and you can do the things that are close and then I'll do the things that are further away. Okay, so. And remember, the metal part is hot. Why don't we start with the yellow? Okay, let's see where I need. Uh, here, I'll hold it right here for you. Where do you want the yellow to go? So maybe like over there? Okay, and then you can, you want some over there? Okay. That's the yellow. That's the yellow? Okay, let's do the blue next. And, and orange is last, okay? Sure, well, yeah, orange is last, that makes sense. Where do you want the blue to go? It says here. Okay. You want to go a little higher up too, like maybe a little right there? Check. Awesome! Next is red, please. Okay, here's the red. What? I mean pink. You want to do the pink next? Okay. So I know where the red is supposed to okay. go. Okay, so the pink, where does the pink go? Over here. Okay. There you go. Good job. These squirt bottles are working pretty well. Now I need red, please. Okay. Okay, where does the red go? Good job. This is not messy. So far, so good. <laughs> All right. Last but not least. Now, this is what I think we're gonna do. Since the orange is layered on top of the other colors, I think that we're gonna wait a little bit and let these colors sort of absorb to the yarn first before we add the orange. So see what we're getting a little bit of right here where the yellow and blue are kind of mixing? Green. We're getting some green. So the colors might mix a little bit and that's fine and it's and, beautiful. And I do plan green, but I can do some green there. Well, you don't need to because this is this is our plan, but sometimes things look different. And so let's let the yarn sit for 10 minutes and then we'll come and we'll add the orange on. But so let's far, kiddo, timer. you're doing really well. Let's do a timer 10 minutes. Deal. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is reduce the heat. We do not need it that hot. And here is what our yarn is looking like so far. And Lucas, I have to say, we're looking really, really close to your vision. Okay, now it's time for the orange. So why don't you point onto the yarn and show me where you want the orange to go? I think it, it bears here and here. Yeah, so maybe, that, so where you drew it is like from here all the way over the red and the pink and then just down here a little bit, okay? Okay. So what I recommend, and here's the orange, I recommend you start carefully with the down there bit. Okay, so. Yep, and then, yep, okay, now go all over that top part. Can I make a suggestion? Let go? Yes. I know. You're, oh, here, why don't you help me, okay? Okay. Um, hold on, let me fix the focus. Okay, now watch, come with me. So you squeeze lightly and go back and forth over that whole area, okay? Okay. Yep. Try to get, make sure you get that area back there. Yep. Okay. Oh, careful. You, uh, all right. That wasn't on the picture. Lucas. You changed your mind? This is not what I was thinking. It's better. It's better? Yeah, you can modify from your design. You're doing great. All right. Hold I on a sec. Keep, I, I want right. to add some more to my detail. Okay. You can add some more. Careful, because then when that's gone, then we're going to stop, okay? Okay. So where do you want to add more? We also have to do the back. Well, I think that this color is probably going to go through the back pretty well. But we can mix more for the back if we think we need more orange, okay? Down with orange, but I want some blue. You want some more blue? Where do you want to put more blue? I'll show you. Okay. And some blue with. All right. Purple. Sounds good. Hey, so you started with a vision, and then now you've decided to uh, add some more zazz to it, and that is perfectly okay. It's your yarn, and you can create it how you want. All right, now we're gonna let this sit for ten minutes, and, and we'll then, come back, and then flip it over. Action. <laughs> okay, what did you want to say? Time to flip over this yarn. All right, let's flip it over. And I think you're gonna see 
yeah, when we flip it over, we've got a lot of color on the back side too. It's because we were able to spread it so far out. Now, is there anywhere where you would like to add more color? Um, a little blue, please. Okay, let's pass you the blue. Oh, roll up your sleeves, please. Come in. <laughs> okay, and be gentle and not wild. Okay. Where else do you want to put some blue? That's it? Any other colors? Uh, yellow. Okay, anything and else? And I call orange. Okay. And last, pink. Oh, careful, honey. Pink, please. Okay. I don't have that much pink, so. Okay, anywhere else? Oh, don't squeeze that hard. Remember, gentle. This is beautiful. I'm sure someone will want this. <laughs> oh, what do you want to do with the yarn? Sell it so I can get money. <laughs> okay, we'll talk about that, honey, okay? And. Oh, nice. Ram okay. Ugh. Are you all set? Yeah. All right. Now we're gonna let it sit another ten minutes, and then mommy might be back because I think it's rest time for you. Okay. Hey. Wait. Can I? What? Maybe. All right. Ten minutes are up, and I'm now gonna turn off the heat and leave the yarn here in the pan to cool completely, so we can sell it. <laughs> Maybe. But what do we do after we dye the yarn? What do we have to do before we let it dry? Do you remember? Show it. Yeah. Well, what we'll do next is wash the yarn and then hang it up to dry. Oh. Okay? Okay. It is now time to wash your yarn. Okay. <laughs> Are you tired? Yeah, and I haven't had any food. You haven't had any what? Food. Food. Yeah, it's the next morning before breakfast. I'm going to add a little bit of some clear dish soap. And now I need you to do something really important with this. Yes. Can you tell me, is there any color in the water? Not right now. That's right, because the color is all in the... Yarn. All right, we're going to go ahead and wash out the rest of the soap. Hang this up to dry, and we'll come back when it's done. Yeah. See ya. Hey, Lucas. You bet. Yeah, what is it? <laughs> Are you ready to see your yarn? Yeah. Hey, come on. Now, why don't you show everyone what your design looked like? This is what my oh. design looked like for two. Oh, let me do it so you can see where you are. Ready? This is what my design looked like today. And do you want to see what the yarn looks like? Yeah. Yeah. All right, here's your yarn. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, careful. What do you think of it? Awesome! Okay, so to talk about the colors. So, I planned for a lot for blue and orange, but I got a surprise, some purple and some green. Alright, and I will go film a close-up of this, um, so that way all of our friends can see what the yarn looks like next to the image. Here is the yarn that Lucas dyed next to his inspiration photo. I was really impressed that he drew the skein of yarn, colored it, and cut it out. And I was even more impressed that at the beginning he was really trying to stick by this picture. Of course, once he got the squirt bottles in his hands, he then moved away from his vision, but I still think it's okay and that this yarn he created is beautiful. Up until this point, Lucas has wanted to keep all of the yarn that he's dyed forever, which Honestly means that I've been knitting and crocheting a lot more with Lucas dyed yarn than yarn that I've dyed myself because we want to use it and it's a really fun to wear things that he dyed. It just makes an, another gift for Keith or me or other family members that much more special. This skein, however, Lucas 
wants to put in the Kenwood's Creations Etsy shop because maybe I told him, hey, if we sell some yarn, then you can get some money in your piggy bank for your saving up for, I don't know, Beyblades or Pokemon cards or whatever it is that these kindergarten kids are saving up for these days. So make sure you keep an eye out for it. I will probably tag anything that he does that ends up into the shop at, with Chem Kids and yeah, it'll be clearly marked in there that it's something that he created. As things stand, the kids are going to be home with me for the foreseeable future. I still plan to release videos every Tuesday and Friday morning uh, to the best of my ability, but I have a feeling that the kids might be making more either prominent or subtle features in the videos that I'm filming uh, going forward. I would like to thank all of you for the support that you give to me and my family during all these times. Uh, wash your hands, stay healthy and safe, and I'm sending a very distant hug through the camera to all of you. I am Lucas from Kenneth. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll be back soon in January, in, um, in March. Yeah, sure. 14. See ya! Well, that was a couple days ago, but subscribe and like the video and leave a comment below. Su subscribe and leave the comment below. See ya, whatever you want to be. Ya. <laughs> oh my goodness. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz. And, and I am Lucas from Chemnitz. <laughs> and we really hope that you enjoyed this video. Times are different. The kids are home more, but we still plan to be releasing new content every Tuesday and Friday morning um, at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Just with maybe a little more background noise. <laughs> so, if you want to make sure that you see more awesome yarn dyeing content, yeah. make sure you're subscribed and have your notifications turned on so you never miss a new video. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Bye. See ya. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Because I'm going to move.